Alright, here we go. Straight Shooter Coffee, the official coffee of Therapy Range. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Therapy Range. I wanted to make a real quick video. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. The ATF announced their new uh, pistol brace rule this morning. It's 259 pages of I don't give a shit. But the bottom line is, is that the ATF has officially uh, pre released their rule banning ba pistol braces. Now, I know you're going to tell me it's unconstitutional, it's illegal, it's this or that. I completely agree with you 100%. No argument coming from me. It's complete liberal indoctrinated horse crap. However, for all of the people out there that aren't die-hard constitutional gun-loving Americans, for all the, the willy-nilly gun owners out there that aren't up to par with what that actually means, hear my words. Do not get rid of your pistol braces. Do not register your rifles, pistols, whatever you want to call it. I don't give a rat's ass, and neither should you. Don't register a damn thing. Don't destroy a damn thing. Don't turn in a damn thing. If you're really worried, if you're really concerned, you can remove it from the weapon and store it in a place that's not close to the weapon, and you should be good to go. That's the way I, when I read what I read, that's the way I understood it is that you can simply remove the brace from the pistol and it's or from the rifle they're calling it a rifle now uh, after years and years of not calling it a rifle now it's a rifle all of a sudden but uh, you can simply remove the brace from your AR rifle and now it's a pistol again as long as your barrels under 16 inches if you take the brace off it goes back to being a pistol Per their definitions, their rulings, their uh, make-believe idea that this is somehow going to make the world a safer place, um, that piece of plastic that could potentially be put against your shoulder is somehow going to make the weapon more deadly than without it. I, I, you know, we live in upside-down world. It doesn't have to make sense. You just have to deal with it until it goes through the court processes. I don't know why you should have to deal with it. I don't know why Illinois is having to deal with the shit that they're dealing with, with their assault weapons ban, when the courts have already clearly, clearly said that that's not acceptable, that you can't ban guns that are in common use. Why a shotgun? But yet they did it anyway. So I guess it appears as though we're going to just give up on the rule of law. That's how it appears. You know, because when you actually think about it, the Supreme Court has no actual enforcement mechanism. It's based on the government being in, in compliance with the federal court's decisions. So if they decide to f throw their fingers up to the, fe to, the, to the SCOTUS, there's really... The only thing that happens is that we abandon the rule of law. This all works because people accept and will follow the rule of law. If we're going to just shit can the rule of law and that's what it looks like we're, we're headed towards, just throwing the rule of law out the window, saddle up, buttercup, it's going to be one hell of a ride. But at the end of the day, don't panic. This is going to go to court. It's going to get overturned by the courts and nobody's going to enforce it. It's just that simple. These cops are not going to come to your door knocking for your bump stock. And if they do, I don't answer questions. Here's my number for my lawyer. You know, unless they show up with a warrant. I mean, if for some reason you actually get law enforcement showing up at your residence, don't talk to them. Don't answer anything. And most certainly, don't show them a damn thing. If they didn't come with a warrant, then they can pound salt in their ass. For real, don't comply with any of that shit. If you do, you're a daisy. It's that simple. I mean, you're just a pansy ass. If you fall in line with that, without them coming with a warrant, if they don't come proper, 
then don't play around with them. Close the door and go on with your day. Buy a shotgun. No warrant, no hombre. It's really, I mean, it's come to that. You have to look at it in that aspect at this point. It's become that crazy where the government, governments think that they can just run roughshod over, over our constitutional rights. And I get it because for a long time, Americans have allowed it to happen. That's kind of why it's important that you stop jacking off, stop dicking the dog, and make sure that your local politicians know you by name. They should know all of you by name. If you're watching my video, if you entertain or entertain by this kind of content, then your local congressmen and representatives and senators should all know you by name. When they see you walking up, when they're out at a fair or a festival or some press meeting or some kind of bullshit to meet the people, and they see you, they should want to walk away from you. They should send their handlers over to make sure that you don't bother them. That's how well they should know you. That's the kind of political pressure that can be applied to these asshats that'll actually make a difference. When they don't feel comfortable going out in public because they know that 90% of the population hates their guts and don't understand how the, you won your position, it tends to start making you act a little different. It puts a little pe pecker in your pooper. Buy a shotgun. <laughs> Live your life to the fullest, guys. Anything less is an injustice to yourself and every single person around you. Do not panic. Do not panic. Do not panic. There's no reason to freak out. Don't turn in your bump stop or your pistol braces. Don't destroy them. And most certainly do not register them. This will get overturned in court. Stay free, America. We'll talk again real soon. Be sure to check out Dear Sarge, my buddy Cav Cop, Always Survive, and the Freeman Report. They're all right here on Rumble. Yeah. Unless you're on YouTube. And then you should go to Rumble and check it out because that's what all the cool kids are doing. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the you know the thing. It's time to shut up and shoot. Hi, here we go.